<laughs> oh, the killer's just like chilling back. Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. Yeah, this guy, uh, Matt. I don't mind Matt. I mean, I don't like he's not like one of my favorites, but uh, I have no problem with him so far. So far, he's been okay. I can't okay. believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Yeah, why the hell do you want to see your friend bisected? Josh is Mr. Robot. Yeah. Pain? It's still fresh. So yeah, uh Emily, the girl that we're with, seems like a lot of people hate her. I can see why I don't really care for her. She's kind of a bitch. <laughs> All right, so, oh, okay. So Matt falling to his death. So we gotta, okay. So I guess we gotta be careful near heights and stuff like that, because there's a possibility of Matt dying by falling to his death. Okay. Look, an axe. I feel better with an axe. He says as he walks away from the axe. <laughs> I just want to see if there's like anything over here. Oh, ah, thanks this. for the follow, ye scallywag. Hang on, thank you for the follow. Should put a helmet on that. <laughs> Red paints. What could the red paint be for? So I'll see anything over here. So where's this axe that she saw? Right here? Yeah. Clue found. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down. He's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. No, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. You know what, Emily? Get through the window. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talon. Think again, lughead. No can do. For one thing, that maniac is probably just sitting there under that window waiting to blend us into pina coladas. <sighs> okay, fine. Here it goes. I'm gonna huff, uh -huh. and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! I don't want to go through the damn window, woman. <laughs> Some are head against the window, fill her skull with shards. <laughs> Gotta be the guy, the the one who who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's gotta know this is the only way back. I don't say that. <sighs> Look, the cable car's all the way out there. <sighs> well, that's I I mean that's not far, right? You you can jump it. <laughs> I'm good, Em, but not that good. Flattered though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, 
I don't know. God, everything is like so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. She doesn't want to go through a little window. She wants me to make that jump. Girl, please. <laughs> Just sacrifice Emily ASAP. Is Emily Petty. Wait, are Chris and Ash dead? No. No, they're not. At least not at the moment. Someone really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now? All right. Hey, look. Fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? The cable call, I mean cable car, the cable car, and then Matt died in that totem from There's falling. There's gotta be something we can do. From all ears. Look at all this crap. There's gotta be something useful in here, right? Very friendly. <sighs> Unfollow. Oh, really? You're gonna talk like that? Oh, it's this. Oh, it's this right here. Team Emily? Are you just saying that just to be a contrarian, or do you actually like Emily? Great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or, or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. Uh, what do you guys think? We can use the radio to call for help. But somebody's got to pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was our idea first. You know, we pointed it out, and then you said no. Now, uh, it, yeah, screw you, screw you, Emily. Oh, hold up. <laughs> What's cooking? Good looking. Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. Wow. <sighs> Yeah, so I think we gotta be super careful because uh, this whole height thing right here. Look at this bad think that boy. We can fall. You're coming with me, buddy. This is gonna be like the, the death and that we saw. Just like magic. Come on down. We can totally get out here this way. Would you rather be in the house with the psycho outdoors in the freezing cold at night with rabid animals? That is. Question. Oh. Ah! <sighs> You're right. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first to protect me. I should have just let her fall. <laughs> okay. Okay. Easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. Why are we even here? I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Sam is a beauty in the exterior, but is the beast inside? <laughs> oh, another totem.
flare gun. Guidance. Okay. Just lean forward really far. Don't look down, Emily. <laughs> do it. Oh, do look down. I should have... Uh, I'm try Here's the thing. I'm trying my best to keep everyone alive. Even the characters I hate. But there is a part of me that was tempted to not hit square at that point. What if it doesn't work? What? The radio. It'll work. But, okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It's, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> It might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. It'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Okay, so hide out in the lodge. So does that mean that Sam is in the lodge by herself? Then where is uh, Chris and Ashley? Because I thought they were in the lodge. Every time I come across like a part like that, I get nervous because I saw the the thing where he falls. He falls to his death. Just want to see if there's anything over here. Okay, uh, actually, let's not go that way. So maybe that's the way we have to go. So let's see if there's anything over here real quick. Oh, there's a thing right there. I'm free, free falling. <laughs> Thank you for the bit, Frida. Uh, is that the way we're supposed to be going? Danger, Cliff. Watch where you step around here. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. All right, we're not going this way. <laughs> Matt, what is that? I don't know. Jesus! Shit! <laughs> Oh, man. Shove Emily and run. Oh, yeah. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> How long was he waiting there? <laughs> Sam, the Washington Lodge. 
New scene next? Unfortunately, no. What the hell is that killer doing? He was just standing there just watching. He puts the lotion on his skin. Or else it gets the hose again. Fight him. Fight the deer. <laughs> fight them with the axe. Nah, don't even fight them with the axe. Throw the axe down and fight them with your fists. Be a man about it. She has good taste in music. Yeah. Getting stuff for her spank bank. <laughs> He's a perv. Man, that's a lot of candles that she lit. Oh, what was that? No, not not the door. Chris. Yeah, that. Josh. Oh, for Pete's sakes, my clothes really. Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. Just watching here with this look on his face. <laughs> Always been a saint. Uh, yeah. Well, the killer was peeping on her, and she took her clothes. Did the killer like go around and light all these candles? He is very romantic, I guess. Oh, oh. really can't interact with that balloon. See if there's like anything over here. Okay. She doesn't own that towel. Oh, okay, that's. Uh, I thought like there was like another prompt that popped up. It was just that. Oh. That, okay, there we go. Cameras can get kind of janky in this game sometimes. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. Yeah, the uh, the rip has that that sound clip. I was like, for a moment, I thought that was from the game. I was like, what? <laughs> this killer, I like, sure took his sweet time Chris, setting the mood. Mike, Emily. This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? Well, wait. Winter horror film. Bob Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? Theory. Josh is the orchestrator of all these of everything that's going on, and he's using the knowledge that his dad had making horror films. So the scene where he got cut in half was actually staged to make it look like he died when he's still alive. That's my theory. And this is all like revenge for what happened to his sister. Well, his sisters, I should say. Don't don't say anything if I'm right or wrong, because I don't I don't want any spoilers. But that's my theory, and I'm I'm gonna throw that out there.
It's gonna be a running the towel real soon. She's really good at um, tying her towels to keep from falling. I mean, if that were me, I mean, obviously I wouldn't have a towel that high, but that towel would be like slipping and falling. All right, I just wanted to see if there was any other clues or anything like that. Sounds like a soap opera. My theory? I think that's what it is. I think that's what the... That's like my best guess so far that I have. And that the whole like miners and stuff like that is all like a red herring. Oh, I saw that killer right there. It was, he was going down the stairs right behind her. Set up arrows for you. <laughs> so, what do you have here? Uh, meat processing. Hey, look at that the circular saw, replacement blades, the meats, like the, the intestines and stuff that we saw falling out of Josh could have been from like a pig or something doesn't necessarily have to be humans I just I think I don't think Josh is dead but there is that he's still alive and that he faked that scene so if he faked that who knows what else he uh, he was messing around with I like how she has like no reaction to that. <laughs> like she just kind of turns around and her face is just like, okay, whatever. Oh, I have a couch uh, just like this one in my house. So mine's, I think, a bit bigger. Are you guys in here? I'm about to nope out, aren't I? No new messages. I don't know. Just uh, if you start getting freaked out, just pay attention to uh, just focus all your attention on the girl with the best towel around her. And just keep thinking. Maybe, maybe it's gonna fall. Maybe it's gonna slip. We don't know. This is kind of like inspired by slasher movies, and we all know how slasher movies are about their nude scenes. Okay, uh. You in the kitchen? Cooking something up? <laughs> <laughs> Josh is like, I'm inviting everyone back. It's a party like porn stars. And everyone else shows up like, we're all going to die tonight. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, if you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. So I know the balloon says to go down the stairs, and that's where we saw that one figure with a mask. I'm just going to check around here just to see if there's anything else. I figure all these doors are going to be locked, but I just want to see if maybe there's like a clue. Sam is the one she's had a bath in the whole house all to herself. 
Well, I mean, now's her moment. So it's just a killer and some rabbit animals. I mean, so far, Sam has had it, like, it the easiest out of everybody. But uh, I think that's going to change now. So now we're going down the stairs. We saw that creepy figure. not going to do anything. Just keep moving. Is that baseball bat? Uh, ah, damn it. I did not mean to do that. Baseball bat. Sam, turn off your flashlight if you're gonna hide. Sam, why are you hiding? Sam, the doctor will what? see you now. I didn't move. No. No. Are you kidding me? No handle. Uh. get a breather. <laughs> hmm, his voice sounds familiar. It's Josh. I'm numb to, this is, again, I, this is just, I think it's Josh. That towel stayed on the whole time. She's good. I know, right? Like I said, like as soon as I start running, that towel's going to be falling and Pirate Monkey Jr. is going to be flopping all, <laughs> all around. <laughs> Need to grab some food. Hope your stream's going well. Hey, Solaria, thank you for the lurk. Go get your food. Hope it's yummy. Uh, 
Oh, okay. I figured even if we did high, we would have been caught anyways. I don't know. <sighs> now, that was exciting, wasn't it? Well done! The game seems to be going very well. Yes. All oh, the good work. We did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm-hmm. Your overwhelming fear of things that are dead. You have turned it against these people who use it desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? 